Most men get it wrong in the bedroom. I'm about to reveal to you what women actually crave. But Handley will tell you, when it comes to satisfying a woman sexually, most men think it's all about the size. I need to have a particular size and be able to do this and do that and then my woman will be well satisfied. It's not always true. Because when it comes to sexual satisfaction for a woman, a lot has to do with foreplay. Yeah, I know you've heard this before, right? But foreplay is actually in two dimensions. You have a mental foreplay and you have a physical foreplay. Okay, I know sometimes you see some movies and when couples get into the room, they just get into the action and just start doing the do. And your mind will be like, ah, but these ones, they don't do foreplay now. And you know, the action, they go on. When they come to get and do all those things, they just really talk. That is when mental foreplay comes into the picture. And I kid you not, mental foreplay overrides even the physical foreplay. For a woman to be satisfied by you, you need to be able to establish that emotional connection. You need to do a lot of mental foreplay. Now, let me give you some examples of mental foreplay. Go on, talk. And it doesn't even necessarily have to be talks that are related to sexual activities, right? Just engage in discussions with her. And then when you talk to her, listen to her, maintain eye contact, and then listen to her well when she's speaking to you. You know, a woman actually wants to feel that she is seen and understood by you. A lot is tied to emotional connection. If you have been following my videos, I'm sure you have heard me say this time and time again, right? But then it is the truth. Like, for us women, it's not always about the physical activity, unlike men. For them, some of them don't even care. If a woman wants to engage with you in that manner, and then she has like a pile of dirty clothes on the side that need to be taken care of, honestly, just because of that, she might not fully be in that mood and fully be in that space with you. Something as simple as that. But for a man, he doesn't care. He can have it anywhere on the pile of the clothes on anywhere. This is where men and women differ a lot when it comes to sexual satisfaction. You need to be able to stimulate her mentally. Like I said, talk. Talk about your highs and lows. If you've gone to work, for example, and you return, just discuss about your day. What happened? Were you disappointed? What were your anticipation? Did you achieve your goal for the day? You know, just engage in that discussion. Even if it's just 10 minutes, and in that 10 minutes, you're present with her, you truly communicated with her, and you listen to her. It will go a long way. You're already building the momentum in her head. Trust me, it works. I'm talking about sexual satisfaction within the confines of marriage between a man and a woman who are legally and fully married, right? <laughs> okay, so if you're not married, not like you can watch or you can learn, you know, just for future use because you're not supposed to be do the thing now when you never get complete license you know what i mean now so let's move on to the next part of mental foreplay you can actually engage in to bring your woman to that point number two you can see a romantic movie together you know movies like 50 shades of gray <laughs> movies like that before you even finish seeing it uh, she's already thinking what you're thinking you're not touching her you're not saying anything to her but you're already setting the stage so movies like that has a way of just stimulating the woman mentally and i think it's not just about the woman even the man too i mean it's gonna like fire you up and get you ready for the action in the as a room number three you can clean together like i said a woman might want to do the do with you but just seeing a pile of dirty clothes might just like make her feel distracted especially the mom so like cleaning together with her has a way of just you know stimulating her mentally you're speaking to her without knowing it Joining her in the kitchen when she's making your favorite meal. You don't have to do anything in the kitchen. Just be there, you know, and just giving her that moral support. Ah, these things, I don't know, we keep saying these things, but a lot of people just overlook these simple, simple things. These things don't cost you anything, but trust me, it's going to give you almost everything, right? So just support her, just be there with her, clean with her, exercise with her. If you're the type that go for maybe jogging in the morning, she can have her join you sometimes if she's free, and able to join you she can join you and then when you come back you can shower together you know this act is powerful having your back together help her scrub her back holding her not because you want to do the do but just help her scrub her back 
dry her body, apply lotion on her body, all these small small things they work. Yeah, my brother, and it don't cost you anything, okay? So all these activities gonna help you bond emotionally. Now you're already creating the emotional connection you need that would help you in the physical activity. So do things together. Even if you're the type that don't like to do things with people, you can begin to form the habits now. Eh? Nothing to do. Eh? <laughs> Just try and start doing things together. If you're newly words, do things together. Just while she's cooking. Some people have seen a couple where their house has a TV in the kitchen. So when the wife is cooking, the husband is there seated and he's engaging with her, discussing with her while he's watching his news and every other thing he needs to see that he doesn't want to miss on the television, but he's there. The fact that he's there with her, I believe, means a lot to her. Because if not, why would he want to put a television in the kitchen, right? Moving on to the next thing on mental foreplay. Sexting. Sending her a random message and painting a very clear picture of what you want to do to her later on. It's very, very, very effective in making her connect with you emotionally. Like saying things like, for example, I can't wait to make you moan like the way you did the other time when I did da 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 da. You know what it is you do, right? You know yourself. <laughs> you know those things you do when you're together. You know, just send her a message and tell her that you're going to do those same things. Already her mind is going to be there and she's going to begin to think about it. Even if she's at work, she might still be at work doing her work, of course, and then be thinking about it. That is why sometimes people just get into the room and then they get into the activity immediately and you keep thinking, hey, but this one, they don't do foreplay now. Already, there is some level of mental foreplay that has already gone into the process. That is why I, I don't believe any woman without any form of foreplay will just be there, ready, like very wet for you to start doing the do with her. There has to be some kind of foreplay. And I kid you not, mental foreplay, like I said, is even more effective than the physical foreplay. Now I'm moving on to the physical foreplay. I'm sure this is the part you've been waiting for. Maintain long eye contact. Just lock your eyes together and just look at each other. And then holding hands together, just put your hands together, hold your hands together. Physical touch is very powerful. Now you're not doing anything, you're just holding hands, looking at each other into your eyes. Already you're sending vibrations into your bodies and you're already connecting. Touching her face, touching her hair. Now you're not touching any of her sexual organs, but you're already connecting by just doing these things. So maintaining eye contact, holding hands together and touching her face also is a form of foreplay. In case you're not doing it before now, begin to touch her face, touch her hair. Appreciate her too. Slow undressing. Watch her undress. Or you can control the pace. You can do the undressing yourself and just tell her to relax. And then you just do the undressing yourself. Just slowly taking off her clothes, looking at her while you're maintaining eye contact, holding her gently for people who miss her all these things. And then when it comes to her boobs, you have to be careful in that area. There is something about a woman's boobs that, you see, at the same level of insecurity some men feel about their organ, about the size of their organ, whether it's adequate or inadequate, it's the same level of insecurity some women feel about their boobs. Our boobs is something that can make us feel very beautiful and can also make us feel very insecure like incredibly insecure especially for ladies who have had babies you know now babies have a way of just changing your whole body changing everything like giving you some lines i call it fine lines okay these are things that are you know it's just biology you can't really help it okay so when it comes to that part of our body just when you're touching it watch her reaction watch her face and just pay attention to the things she likes and if you don't understand what she likes, ask her. There's nothing wrong in asking her. Ask her, baby, do you like it like this? Do you want me to twist it like this? Do you want me to... Whatever, just ask her. And I'm sure she's going to direct you on what to do and how to make her feel happy. While you're doing this, it's important to make her feel very comfortable and beautiful. You can tell her she's beautiful. You know, words are very, very powerful. Tell her in that moment. And people are more vulnerable when they are naked. Even for men. And like I said, the boobs of a woman might make her feel insecure. So she might not want you to see her in plain sight like that. 
except maybe she's lying down and just observe these things and make her feel comfortable about herself once she feels very comfortable with you then at that time you come i don't finish work then you cannot move to the next stage next up kissing when it comes to this act it's always advisable to start slowly don't like start shoving your tongue down her throat just calm down bro i don't personally think there is a single rule for it but then when you start slowly and then you increase your pace naturally your bodies will just adjust and just determine the pace some of the things that you do to each other said you won't even know where those things came from you won't even know that you have this talent in you <laughs> Okay, you just realize that you're just doing things, you just they do things. You don't know, say this talent is your body tete. <laughs> Up next, dirty talks. This one is one powerful tool that if you know, you know. I mean, I don't think physical foreplay can be complete without the dirty talks. Dirty talk is a game changer. Telling us something like, for example, I can't wait to test you. Well, I can't wait to do this. You know the things you do. I don't need to tell you all those things. I shall say you know what you do. If you're just telling her all those things and looking at her, you're not doing it yet, but you're saying it to her. Words are powerful, especially the words of a man to the ears of a woman that loves him and the woman he loves. These words are very, very powerful. Now, moving on to the almighty V spot. You know what I mean? When you get to that point. Now, before you do anything, make sure that she is W-E-T. Make sure that she is wet. Use your fingers to check down there if she's wet. You know, because it's funny, but sometimes our bodies can fail us. Yes. Just like you men too, sometimes your organ fail you. Like, you know, the degree stand. Maybe say you know the man, but you just know grease stand at that time. It happens even to women. Some of us, even with all of the foreplay, you might get down there and realize that she is dry as a desert. Yes. So having this in mind, don't be afraid to bring in some reinforcements like lubricants and the rest of them. You know now. And while you're at it, don't make it look like a performance. Now this is very, very important. Because oftentimes when people engage in activities like this, and then for the man especially, and then maybe you come too quickly or maybe you feel like you did not perform up to expectation and then you tend to feel bad and you begin to think that you're not able to satisfy your woman no 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 it's not it shouldn't be about performance it shouldn't be about you trying to outperform her or show her that you have the skills or you have this or you have that no it shouldn't be about that because when it comes to sexual satisfaction for a woman i think emotional connection is the ultimate thing just make sure that you're able to connect with her emotionally. Make sure that she's able to connect with you. Always remember this. Sexual satisfaction is not all about your performance. It's always about your ability to set goals or connecting emotionally with your partner. Right? Always, always remember that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.